Good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you happen to be. My name is John Bowman. I work at Stanley Community College. This video shows you how to access the Smart Thinking Tutor that is mentioned inside of your English 111 class structure. Um, so what you can see here is I have pulled up my particular class uh, for the spring of 2017. And this, uh, again, this information is mentioned inside the course structure. Your course is going to look very, very similar, if not identical to the one that I have here. But you don't actually access smart thinking through the system. So what you want to do is you want to click up here on 24-7 online tutoring, right there at the very top. Once you click on that, it's going to ask you for a browser check, a system check. Uh, sometimes it will kick you straight to the next page. Sometimes you have to scroll down to the bottom and click OK. Uh, in this particular case, it sent me to the next page, and, and that was it. That was fine. Now, since this is English class, you want to click on Submit My Writing. You're handing in an essay. And then you it, it's very much like an email um, at this point. You kind of go down the list here. You make sure that you explain what course you're part of, English 111, 112, um, whatever you're working on, the title of your writing, and then this is kind of the tricky part, provide your assignment description, including expected length and everything else, um, and any special instructions for your, uh, for your tutor. Now, here, the easiest way to do it is to just simply copy and paste the assignment. Uh, go to Moodle and pull out that assignment, and then just wholesale copy and paste it, and then as it says here, any special instructions for your tutor. Now, here you have two areas which you need help. You only get to select two, so if you have problems, uh, recurring problems with grammar, you might pick that button. Um, if you are worried about your use of resources, pick this, but uh, keep in mind that this does not check for plagiarism. Your tutor will not check for plagiarism. If you have uh, potentially plagiarized any part of your paper, you need to make sure that you uh, pay attention to, uh, to the, um, the turn it in report that's generated when you hand the paper in. That will give you a percentage. This is not that resource. This is a separate resource. Uh, and then, so you want to pick first available. This is, if you're in English 111 or 112, it's not business or technical writing. Um, this is not creative writing in 111 or 112. And um, only in special circumstances would you need English as a second language. Um, and a specialist. So first available, choose your file, attach your file, uh, make sure you're using something like a .doc, .docx, uh, do not use the files that are associated with um, uh, the Apple products, they will not work, uh, they'll return your writing, they'll reject your writing, um, and by the way, there are some other reasons, very rare, that they will reject your writing. Um, if they do, then uh, contact your instructor. Okay, up here at the top, and, and let me let me finish this. Down here at the bottom, you want to click submit. Now it takes something like 24 to 48 hours, sometimes a little bit longer if they're in their peak season, which might be in something like December or April slash May. Uh, so you want to wait for a while, and that's what I'm going to show you now. Up here at the very top, again, to retrieve your writing, you click into it. It's going to get me straight in. Review my sessions and submissions. And then you should be able to access it through here. You'll see it pop up in here. A again, keep in mind, this is a real person you're accessing. It is not someone here at the college. This is an online resource that we use. So you, it's not like there's somebody down the hall here who is the online tutor. It's, it's not like that. This is uh, an outside service. So don't submit it and then you know, go looking on campus for this person because they're not there. All right, so that's um, that's how you go about accessing it. If you have any questions, uh, submit those questions to your instructor or try to catch one of the English instructors here on campus. Uh, go see the, the campus tutors. Um, we're all here to help you. You just have to, to sort of get in there and start doing it. And once you start doing it, it's actually quite intuitive.